Okay, so I've been saying that I'm expecting a yearly cycle low, which is a basically think of it as a very severe ice, uh, weekly cycle low or ICL intermediate cycle low. So in the same way that a intermediate cycle low is really just a daily cycle low that has failed, meaning it's gone below a previous daily cycle low. So it's a very severe daily cycle low decline and it's in the timing band. And so it becomes a weekly cycle low for all intents and purposes. And so in the same way that uh, ICL is a very severe daily cycle low, uh, yearly cycle low is a really severe ICL. And more specifically, it's when one weekly cycle fails, which is to say it goes below the low of a, a previous weekly cycle, which we just had recently. So the last YCL that we have that is clearly recognizable was the COVID crash, and that's this here. And before that was the sort of crash in Q4, or I should say the big decline in Q4 of 2018. And that is this here. It would seem that we're set up for something more like this versus this. And I'll show you, for instance, if you look at, so this 2018 period, it lasted 96 days, 65 trading days, but 96 just actual days. So three months and this one was more of a crash because of covid it actually only lasted 33 calendar days 23 trading days and in this case 2018 you had a 20 percent decline for the covid crash you have a 35 percent decline and so far we've had a decline of 20 total calendar days 13 trading days and we've we've come down about 12.4 percent now, of course, we just bounced now. So like, let's see what how much have we bounced already? Um, it's actually kind of considerable. OK, so we're already 7% off the low, um, which is interesting. But the point here is that we may not be done with the decline. So if you imagine we get something that's more similar to 2018, because again, this COVID crash was a unusually short cycle that just went really deep in terms of price, which is what generally happens if you have a really huge price decline. The cycle tends to end relatively early. Just there aren't any sell there. There just aren't any sellers anymore. Whereas something like 2018, if you think about it, the high came on September 21st, right, and then. You basically had this vicious little double top. So you have this high on September 21st. You top at 29.41 essentially. You have a decline, then you come higher, and then you top out at 29, just below 29.40. So like literally just like a dollar off. And then you begin a bigger decline, a whoosh down, a little bounce. This is a lower high, lower low, another double toppy situation similar to this. And so you can imagine this decline was really treacherous, but then you get this bounce and people are probably convinced at this point, right? Like you've got this rebound. People are probably convinced you have this big up day, you consolidate a little bit, and then you come in, you have a gap down and whoosh. And then bearish follow through, more follow through, a little attempt at a bounce, another low. And then you have this another fairly convincing rally, like by especially after this huge candle, you're like, okay, well, we're back in business. And then you get this ugly and decisive candle and the next day, wham. Notice again, this is a high, this is a lower high, this is a noticeably lower high. So now you're not even making a double top anymore. The downtrend is accelerating. You come down, you make a low, you get a nice little swing low here. Maybe you get excited at some point. This candle was green because you have this little upper wick, but then you just fail down and then finally really roll over. So then you fall for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, essentially eight days straight down into the bottom. And so if you look at the if you look at this on a weekly level, I think this is important. Look at this beautiful hammer we have right here. And then we have nice follow through this week. I mean, it's only Monday, obviously, but this is nice. This is a weekly swing low above this high. 
So this is the makings of a weekly cycle low. Yet, go back again. I think a good analog is the 2018 decline. So this is your week where you made your top. You had your little double top here, which was actually, if, if you look at it on a weekly level, was a bearish outside week. So you have your top this week. You consolidate the next week, but it's red. So people are losing money, but it's really just choppy. And then wham. And then big follow through. Consolidation. Big follow through. And then you have this again. Like imagine this is where we are now, right? You've got, or I should say this is where we are now, right? You, you got last week a potential reversal candle. And then you get follow through. And then of course notice... This wick, this upper wick always means that there was a there was a rally, or in this case, a decline on a lower time frame. And then you have follow through the next week, pulls you down. Maybe you get a little excited because you have this lower wick here. So there was a little rally, got folks excited that we were looking on the daily level. And then wham, bearish follow through. Again, catching people a little bit confused. We make another weekly high, but then we come in the next week Looks like things were going well, and then wham. So this is what we're going to want to be watching out for, right? Like if we're here, we would, this makes, this is almost textbook that you got your high right around here, right? Like you couldn't quite make it to this candle because this swing low took you above this candle. You know, you even closed above that for this week. Like you, you were able to preserve that. But you did go further and just couldn't make it. You kind of topped out right below the high of here. And so if you think about the analog for this, for where we are right now, you could see a world where, you know, this is probably max upside, this candle here that puts you at 46.32. I'd be surprised if we got there. If we got through 46.32, then it seems likely that we would get to all-time highs. We're already at 45.15. So you're talking about another, like, you know, a little more than 100 points. But that's what it would take to to feel like, to have a sense that this isn't just a rally that's going to make a lower high. I mean, we're already on day five of the daily cycle. Tomorrow will be the start of day six. You could easily see a top on day 10. But again, you could see the market just run, and that would be your signal. You get, you blow through 46.32, then you're probably going to all-time highs, which takes you to 48.18, but we'll see.